Alrighty, so this is a build that we did here, um, kind of led by Bruno on our team, one of our developers. Um, so this is a build integrating Zoho Desk with Slack um, to do some automated notifications. Now, you know, we use Click internally. Click is kind of Zoho's version of Slack, very, very similar. But for some users, maybe they've been on Slack for a long time, or they have some pre-built integrations for other tools they're using that are already in Slack, so they don't want to leave. Um, but you still want to be able to access auto notifications and reminders the same way that we'll often set up for people that are using uh, Zoho Click. So this was kind of like our, our V1, like first step for this integration for this client. And the goal uh, sounds pretty simple. Basically, when a comment is left in Zoho Desk that mentions a specific user, we want to be able to notify that user in Slack with you know, a link to the ticket so they can get over there quickly and take the action that they need. Um, we did this in kind of a multi-step process. So the first step is uh, Bruno went ahead and set up a Zoho flow that runs whenever ticket comments are left on a ticket. Um, it uses some logic to kind of read through the comment and identify if a user was mentioned in it, because there are cases where someone leaves a comment but doesn't tag anybody, right? Maybe they left it for themselves or just so that we have some history on this, um, but nobody was particularly mentioned. If there is a mention in that ticket, or maybe more than one mention, we actually log it into a custom table inside of Zoho Analytics. That step is basically the one that allows us to parse out um, the multiple mentions so that more than one person gets a notification per that individual comment that was left. Um, and then every 30 minutes, we run a scheduled function that will basically check against the analytics table. It'll look at any of those like, you know, user mentions that have not yet been sent through Slack, and it will go ahead and send them to those users in Slack via their API. Um, so again, a lot of this stuff could also be done with Zoho Click, but not everybody wants to switch over. Sometimes people have good reasons for staying in their other chat tools. Um, and so in this case, you know, we kind of just connected the dots for them so that you can still get that instant uh, rapid notification. Um, despite that user maybe not being in desk at the time. It should hopefully be a pretty good time saver for them at the end of the day. Yeah, very, very, very nice. Um, I don't, I still, I still don't understand why people stay in Slack, but um, it doesn't, I mean. It's like other integrations, you know, Slack has a lot of pre-built stuff outside of Zoho. Uh, so if you're not, if you're not using every Zoho app, and maybe you just got a lot of stuff already plugged in, you want to stay, I mean, for us, most of the time it makes most sense for people to move over just because they are so similar at the end of the day. Um, but yeah. it's got an API. So if you want to stick with it, we can surely send it some data. Yeah. I mean, if you want to pay us, we can probably duplicate any integrations that are missing, you know, when you do click. So another reason yeah. to move. Just yeah. a payback period. Yeah. <laughs> so that. All right. And with that, good job, Bruno.